Okay, another wedding collection. This is Midnight Spell. I mean, it is kind of a fantasy, but it's a princess collection basically, which can be used for Sweet 16 or wedding, anything romantic. The blues are very pretty, very French feel to it. The colors, gold and blue. These cut aparts are beautiful, I like that. Colors in here are awesome. That's really pretty. Look at this architecture. I love it. Okay, here's our Once Upon a Time. There was a guy on a horse. <laughs> Lost in a forest. There we go. Got some cut aparts. That's gorgeous. Oh my, look at that. I could use a whole pack of just this. That's gorgeous. It kind of has a winter feel to it too, so you could use it as a winter collection. More cut aparts for your dimensional projects or layered projects. This one has sort of a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's a pale purple. Uh, lavender to it. That's that's pretty. These really come out quite brilliant. They they almost look like they're foiled. They're not, but they almost look that way. Okay, got our pumpkins. So there's our sort of winter, fall winter. Is a big, slightly faded um, medallion. So that's the um, the paper pad. So it's one each of twelve double-sided designs, and now the patterns pack is one of each eight double-sided. Okay, and, and typically when you get to the background, you'll see that some of, some of the things are scaled down a little bit, so you can layer a little, oh, I love a stripe, um, so you can layer a little bit easier. Sometimes the image is so bold, you can't put two of them on the same page or in the same page layout. Okay, there's that. So this is kind of the architecture paper. The first one in the first pad is much bolder than this, so you can kind of see the difference. It's nice to have both. Ooh, that's vibrant. I like it. Uh, a nice strong contrast paper. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, you've got your little, not quite four by four cutouts. That's pretty. Gold. That's pretty too. Got some interesting architectural designs and flourishes. Ooh, and that's strong. That's a strong image. Okay, that's the patterns pack. Next, let's look at the creative pack. Pad. That's nice. It's a nice size. You can see a photo there easily. Cards cut apart. Cut aparts. And it looks like there's um, patterns on the back of all of these, which gives you a lot of flexibility. The buttons are hard to cut out, but they, they look neat when you layer them on top of things. Okay, that is the creative pad. Okay, now that's it for the paper, except for the sizes. It also comes in eight by eight, 
And then here's our fussy cut pack. So um, as always, there's three each, um, a double sided, three each of eight. So there's a, a total of eight designs. You got three of each and they're double sided. Then this is the eight by eight. And lastly, we're gonna look at the rice paper. I'm gonna pull that white paper in again. Pretty. This is timeless, no pun intended, <laughs> pun absolutely intended. <laughs> okay. Let's see the, the golds in here, they just are so vibrant. It adds just amount the right amount of elegance and pop. So that is the I gotta be sure, last collection from Shao Bella that um, was recently re released. And as these are all available, being pre-shipped and available in stock right now. I will be back shortly with my last video, which will be Graphic 45 and the new releases there. Hey everybody, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create and we are gonna go over another release from Shao Bella. Um, this is really pretty, this is a wedding. Um, Look at that, always and forever. So the chipboard that I showed you earlier um, for Stamperia, the always and forever, I think that chipboard was from this collection, but it could be, I could be wrong. Um, Julie wrote me a cheat sheet. I promptly misplaced it. Okay, so we're gonna go over first, we're gonna go over the 12 by 12, and then we'll pull in um, the patterns. And then we'll go over the, um, individual elements that are available with this collection okay so here is that's too too much in the background sorry here's the 12 by 12 paper pad <laughs> just married that's cute 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 this is a nice pattern this is very elegant um let me pull it up so you can get a little bit better look at it oops i skipped a page sorry this is elegant as well. So um, Florida de Lee. And then this one is um, kind of like a diamond pattern. It's very pretty. Uh, kind of reminds me of Tool. Not Tool. The stuff tutus are made out of. Hmm, it escapes me. Maybe it is Tool. Okay, nice peach. Pretty. This is a very pretty peach. It's very pale doesn't read as orange at all okay we've got our cutter parts here and journaling on the back side beautiful cake that's a beautiful border and these are little hearts okay and i like that these are actually butterflies and not moths so many people are putting moths in the collection it's nice to see a butterfly once in a while Lovely cut of parts. Beautiful cards. Oh, look at this. Oh, what to do with that? I'd have to give that some thought, but. Yeah. So I think you're supposed to cut these apart, fold this back, and it makes a little pocket, and then that's the flap that goes over it. So it winds up making a, a little envelope. And then you've got a um, pattern on the back if you don't want to do the cut of parts. Oh, that looks elegant. Very masculine, even though it's a pastel, it's a very masculine pattern. More butterflies. <laughs> Lovely wedding pictures. You got the shoes. And it looks like, like where you would put your announcement. Lovely. Okay, so that is the collection pack. Here is the patterns. There we go. These make for nice backgrounds. A page of cut aparts. I guess a vanity mirror. Yeah, so you could arrange these and make a, like a little vignette 
in your um, in your album. Okay. Floral page. More cut aparts. And again, another background, which is nice. Ooh, this is pretty. Um, it looks like a, a twill fabric almost. Okay, so that's the backgrounds. So the next thing we'll look at is the um, creative collection or creative pad. Okay, got some cut aparts. It's nice, just, just married. Should be followed by Do Not Disturb. <laughs> this uh, cut up, cuts apart into an um, an envelope. More cut aparts. You can use as embellishments, card toppers, tags. And these are smaller cut aparts. These look like. Four by three. Here's where they use that sort of fishnet. <laughs> I can't think of what it is, but it's very pretty. The whole back is like that. Somebody will tell me in the in the comments. I know it, which is fine. More tags, which of course you expect in the uh, creative pad. It's usually a lot of cut aparts. So in addition to the 12 by 12 um, paper pad, 12 by 12 patterns, we also have the 8 by 8 pad, <clears throat> and then uh, the 6 by 6 fussy cut, and then last is the rice paper, and. That's not very clear. I'm trying to find a piece of white paper to put behind it. Here we go. It's not perfect, but you get a better view. The um, desk was coming back, coming through too strong. Okay. And these are the cards. And as a reminder, if it's not obvious, Ciao Bella is a company in Italy. That's where these papers come from. There we go. So everything you see today is available in our shop. Um, they started shipping pre-orders out, um, but uh, there should be some stock available in everything right now, uh, even after the pre-orders. If not, um, go ahead and put it in your cart and you'll be notified when inventory is back in stock so that you can purchase. We will do a reorder after the initial push. Um, hang on for a minute, and I'm going to show you the last Chow Bella collection. Hey, everybody. It's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and I'm going to share with you a couple new Chow Bella collections. So this is fun. This is going to be a great collection for anybody who loves Harry Potter, because it definitely conjures up that uh, theme. It's called Wizard Academy. So no big surprise. So this is the six by six fussy cut pad. So you get three each of eight double sided sheets. So you could do lots of dimensional projects um, and use these cut aparts on your cards. So that's the six by six. It also comes in the eight by eight paper pad. You get one each of 12 double sided papers. Um, we have the creative pad and the creative pad um, and I'm looking at it down here. Mm. So I'm trying to see if it has A and B sides. I'm not sure. So let's open it. <laughs> so this is nine sheets. They are double sided. And I don't know if it's a front back or if it's a... Uh... Sorry, I'll get that away from the speaker. I've done that before. I mean, microphone. And it can be loud. Isn't that rice paper gorgeous while we're waiting for me to get this out of the package? So this is the creative pad. These colors are really pretty. Okay. Oh, good. It's nice. So you can use these cut aparts or you can use the flip side as just um, a matte page. 
got more cut aparts down here. So that's really nice. You've got some choices that you can make. These are nice cut aparts. Or you can use the background, which I really like. I like to have extra cut aparts, but I don't, I, I've never used all of them. So it's nice to know the backside, the page doesn't go to waste. I can use the backside. Okay, more cut aparts. Oh, the ink is so strong. <laughs> Card toppers. This is pretty. Oh, I love this that they um, are giving me the back side as a pattern. Okay, nice little tag cut aparts. That's pretty. Small botanicals. Nice. Okay, and I think this is our last sheet here. Warm wart instead of hog wart. <laughs> it's pretty close. Okay, so that's our um, creative pad. I'm going to go ahead and open up. So this Chow Bella collection comes with a patterns pad. And I don't know why she gave me two. I think one of these is supposed to be the collection and one's supposed to be the patterns. And I think I've only got the patterns right now. So I'll go ahead and show those to you. Sorry, it takes me a little few minutes. Everybody packages differently. So I never know where the seam is at. Okay. It's been a while since we've had a review. Reveal, anyway. How you guys uh, doing out there? It's nice to chat with you guys a little bit. I've been working on a couple of projects, and one of them I am going to release to the channel. Um, and it's uh, it's really going to be kind of a redesign of the base album in terms of the spine. I came up, I've spent some time doing some research, and I came up with what I like is a new mechanism, and it helps the pages lay flat. New to me, not new to bookmaking by any means. Here's our patterns pack. New paper smells so good. Okay. This is neat. I could see this on a 12 by 12 page and then you could like cut out this square and make it open, something like that. Or even in a smaller scale, I could see doing some of those things. Interesting. And then of course there's the back side. The Wizard Daily. This almost pops off the page, these, these two banners. Okay. Well, this is cool. This is very cool. Yes, this is definitely for all your Harry Potter fans. Nice. And that's our last page. This is gorgeous. I think I would use that on my cover. And that. So good things take time. Probably push them a little closer together because uh, I would probably do this in a in an eight eight and a half by eight and a half. Um, I'm kind of thinking out loud. The, I'm, it's hard to know for sure because we're looking at the backgrounds, not the collection pack, but this, uh, the scale of these images definitely lends itself to an eight, eight and a half by eight and a half. Um, I will, at the end of this video, um, pull in the patterns, uh, the collection pack and we'll go over that, but I don't have it handy right now. So I'll go ahead and finish what, what else I have in the collection and, and do that last. Okay, so here are the rice papers that are available. Again, I really like this. Could maybe even make an accompanying box for the album. I always think in terms of albums, mini albums, but like uh, rice paper, definitely decor projects, right? Beautiful. Okay, so those are the rice papers that are available. <clears throat> do I have a cheat sheet for that? I do not. 
or it's at the bottom of my pack. So that is what we have. Um, so we have the six by six fussy cut, eight by eight. Oh, I can show you the collection pack here. There we go. It's just not in a 12 by 12 format. Problem solved. They're serious about their packaging, which is nice. It doesn't shift around, but if you don't use everything, it's nice to be able to put it back in its original packaging when you go to store it. Okay, this is pretty. <clears throat> it's nice. These are like ledgers. It's really tiny in the 8x8. Nice background. Snakes. Ooh, nice. We've got the cut aparts and a page we can use. I like this color. This is pretty. You could see that on a spine. Either one. Oh, look at that. Some cards. Okay, we got journaling and images. This definitely lends itself to, I think, an 8x8. Even in 12x12, 12 12, this you could still use part of this as the background. I love it when they do this with keys. They turn them into little insects, fireflies. That's beautiful. Very cool. And that is the paper pad for Wizards. So that comes in an 8x8 and a 12x12. 12 12. And that is it for that collection. Uh, give me a moment and I'll be bringing in the next Shabala collection.